Hi guys, in a few minutes I'm going to show you how to create a movie downloading website. So this is our website. I'm going to show you how to create a movie downloading website, how to set it up, and how to um, upload movie, download movie using a free domain, a free web host, a free cPanel, installing WordPress. I'm going to show you the basic process of how to do all that, and I'm going to show you what you need to do to get your website started. So the website I'm going to be creating is going to be something like this, which is this we're going to be creating actually. We're going to have um uh, we're going to have like something like exactly this which i did in the tutorial so this is it i'm going to have our download movie we're going to have our ratings our sidebar we're going to also have uh, the ability to change the color of our team to either white or the dark one so you see we can actually do that right here so we have a social sharing button we have our explore by categories we have our menu and we sort other things we also have and i also showed you in this video how you can actually upload your movie where you in a place you can actually download it so guys this tutorial everything is free we use in this tutorial and please 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 and please if you watch this video and enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so let's dive right into the tutorial hey guys my name is victor and in this video i'm going to show you how to create a movie website with a free web host and a free domain name so we're going to be creating a movie website and in the course of this tutorial i'm going to show you first how to get a free domain name how to get a free web host how to host your website the cms we're going to be using how to get your movies and how to post your movies and also i'm going to show you how to upload movies on different servers so that you could be able to put them on your website and start um, giving it out to visitors and also i'm going to show you basic things you need to do to rank your movie website so without further ado let's dive right in so the um, the web hosting we're going to be using is Affinity Free. So Affinity Free is a free web hosting platform that allow you host your website for free. Yes, on Affinity Free you could host your website for free. So that's what the web hosting we're going to be using. So the first thing you want to do is to visit Affinity Free, and then click on Sign Up right now. And when you click on Sign Up now, it's going to take you to where you can create an account for Affinity Free. So you're going to enter your email address. So for this, I'm going to enter my email. then the next part is to enter a password so i'm going to enter a password let me just enter something that um i could just recall let me just use then i'm going to use the same password so once you are done you're going to click on i have read the terms and uh, condition and i agree to it and then you're going to click on sign up so once you sign up it's going to take you to where you verify your email address so i already have my email open so what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on the email address i'm going to click on verify email address and then have been verified on the uh the hosting platform so as you can see i already have my account login now the next thing you want to do is to click on create an account so once you click on create an account meaning we're going to be creating an account for this our website so now we could use a custom domain right here so you said the domain DNS has to be pointed that if you want to use a custom domain you could enter your domain here and then enter the availability of the domain or check if you can um, connect your DNS to this domain but we're not going to be using our own domain we're going to be using a free domain from here so right now we're going to be calling our movie our movie website movies movie so I'm going to call it movies movie then you're going to choose a domain extension now for this um, free domain they are going to give you you're going to choose like just like um dot blogspot when we remember the time we normally use blogger to create our website so you can choose from any of this um web hosting plot you can choose from any of this uh, add-on domain sorry sub um sorry subdomain that you can add to your website so most people prefer this 42 web.io because it's short or this fz.com or rf.jd so depending on the one you want you could actually use that for yours but i think i think i prefer this fz now i'm going to check if the domain is actually available so you're going to click on check availability and it's going to load and see if the domain name is available as you can see moviesmobile.fez.com is actually available remember that when we are doing blogger or the previous bloggers tutorial we had on the channel you actually have um, 
a dot blogspot on your domain name yes that's the same thing with this but with this you can actually monetize you can show up on search agent and you can do higher things so now website account for movies mobile dot now this is the account name it has been generated automatically now you're going to enter a password for it now i'm going to use this password i'm going to click on create account now i'm going to verify this now since that is done it's going to give you the thought process it says account created your account has been created with username this is my username and there are some things you need to know it takes few minutes they are trying to explain to you that your c panel take time and then your dns take time to propagate so now you could actually open your c panel and see how your c panel is from here guys so you could open your c panel and let's see how it is but for now we are finished from this part so let's click on finish and that is that so this is our details as you can see i have opened the um, c panel area on a new tab so i'm going to click on approve thanks the admin panel will now load meaning they have actually approved our admin panel and we finally have our c panel to ourselves so the, this part gives us a brief um brief uh let's say history of our domain our website yes as you can see this is our username this is our password okay, short hide the status is pending creation this is our label website ip most of these things take about 24 hours to actually load so you just have to be patient here's your mysql database here's your ftp details this is your domain as you can see you have just one domain now each of these free domain you each of each account you have you can open at least just um three website at least three website on each domain so here is our ftp details just in case you need it and then here is where you upload your mysql database so your database is actually going to be on this part so your account must be active to manage your database so this is where your, all your database are going to be saved then you have your account settings so you can update your account change your website url yeah and you could do a lot right here so you could check your account your since your account has your account must be active to change the password so the account is not active yet so i think we verified the email okay your account has been created as you can see so our account has been created so if we refresh that it's supposed to show that our account has been verified so let me mark this as save as start so now let's go back we have the next part you have your cool job in case you are creating website like um uh, we are creating the cryptocurrency investment website we can actually create them on this server so now if we go back here we have our c panel as you can see we have a very very great c panel but our c panel actually has limitation to it because first we have our just one ftp account our subdomain we have all limited subdomain all limited adult domain packed domain we have it my square domain my square is now limited but this quota this is 500 5 120 mb this space is 0 mb so some some of these um stuff are actually limited because it's free and you also have ad on your c panel but if you're actually paying for it you don't have ad on your c panel you actually gonna work with what you have so with that you can see also search for domain name in case you have a main domain name you could check and you could purchase a domain name from your c panel area so with that being said we're going to start building up our website from this c panel so i'm going to give you a basic overview of the c panel and explain what the c panel is now the panel is where most of your website builders or building um, cms actually save and it's more than website building cms you have a lot on this place you have your uh, preference which you update update um, contact email you have that to get started to get started knowing more about your cpanel you have your account upgrade then you have your account settings here you have your file in your file you have your file manager you have your file manager you have your directory privacy you have your ftp account you have your free ftp software and then you have your backup for most times when i'm building a website i only make use of this free online free file manager because literally i don't make use of directory privacy ftp each of these things and other times i make use of backup when i want to back up my website so then you have your php my admin where you can actually upload your um do most of your admin details here you can say um, create a database 
and others you have you can add domain add on domain you could create a subdomain and you could do a lot on this platform for free yes you can actually purchase a domain for uh from any of this free uh, any of this web hosting especially if you are from nigeria you can purchase a domain for 1000 naira, and then you could host the domain here and do the legit and fine website and then you make um you put in ads and you start making money from it guys this is actually a big deal for it so here you can select your php version you could do software colors app installer and then install your website now you can add a cron job on this place cine record error page guys there's a lot you can do on this free web hosting the only limitation to this is that you have adsense on your website yes you have adsense on your website so that's it guys you have adsense on your uh, yeah adsense on ads on your um file manager area so with that being said let's start creating our website so we're going to be creating a movie website from this part so i'm um, going to be using wordpress on it so i'm going to look for software coolers app installer clicking click on it and then to take me to where i can install my website so as you can see it's loading right here i could install any of all the cms WordPress, Joomla, Abante Cat, but we're just going to be using a WordPress website. As you can see, there are different types of scripts in this place. You use WordPress, you use Joomla, you use Abante Cat, you use PHPBB, you have Simple Forum Machine, you use WHMCAs, you use Open Real Estate, you use MyBB, you use PHP 7 Builders. So there's also Laravel, Dolphin, OpenCat, and a lot you have here. Um, some of these I've actually tested, others I haven't. I think this one is cool for e-commerce. This is cool if you're using PHP framework. Dolphin is majorly used for social media and community. Open real estate, as the name already states, you already know this is actually for real estate purposes. My BB majorly for forums, and you have PH7 builder. I haven't actually used this one. You have WHMCS. I have not installed this one. Simple forum machine. I use it to build a forum website. Like if you go to Bitcoin.com, you see that they make it of simple forum machine. You have PHP BB. You have use this one for forum. You have Abantica. This is majorly used for e-commerce. Then you have Joomla. I think after WordPress, Joomla is actually topping. It's an award-winning CMS. It, it can also use it to build any kind of website, just like WordPress. It has its own template, its own theme. But for this tutorial, we're just going to be installing WordPress. So you're going to click on install. Now it's going to help you install WordPress, and you're going to just follow the basic step and install WordPress yourself. So I think I've been logged out of my cPanel. I just have to log into my cPanel again. So let me just log in from here, go to my home, then go to control panel, and then to take you back to control panel, in control panel, home mark. Right now, the reason I was logged out might be because of my um, network, uh, my Wi-Fi changes. I think my Wi-Fi I did some changes within a few minutes, so I think that was the reason I was actually logged out. So anyway, back to the WordPress, click on install. And then it's going to try to show you, walk you through how you can install WordPress. So you can see, I'm going to use the HTTPS and see if they actually install SSL on it. And this is my domain. So I'm going to type in the name of my website right here. So as you can see, they have not installed SSL for it. But if you give it some time, they will actually install SSL on it. And also, you can actually install a plugin called Really Simple SSL on your WordPress website, and it's going to also put your website on SSL and make it secure. Then the next part, you type in the um, the site description. So let me do that. Then I'm going to use a username, admin username. So I'm just going to call this admin because after now I think I'm going to be um, deleting this site. So type in admin and then a password that is easy to recall. So I'm going to type in something like tech for all and see if that works. That doesn't work. So let me just do 20, 20, 20. 2022 hashtag so this is it i think this works perfectly so i'm going to use this email and i'm going to copy the email also so they can send the installation details into it so i'm going to 
okay it's actually not on this part so but for some you actually have an ad uh, where you can actually save the installation details right so once that is done I'm gonna click on install so now it actually takes about three to four minutes and then it will install you finally have your website installed successfully so right now we are building this website for free we have not made any payment for any domain name any web host and we are still on the process so guys it has actually been installed now if you go to your website you actually have your website right here so this is our website as you can see the ssl has not been activated so it's showing not secure so this is our website right now so we're going to actually work on it the next part you we have to log into our admin panel so you have our admin panel so welcome to wordpress so this is where we are going to be building our movies website so first thing first let me remove this and explain everything on the left sidebar for you you have your dashboard on the first part your dashboard is actually what we are you are seeing right now so this is actually dashboard you have the next part which is actually um the updates area in case you have any updates like your website need any update like your plugins updates your team updates your post issues comment and stuff you have it's going to show up here the next part you have your post and in your post you have your all post add new post categories and tag so for your movie website you're going to be adding them in form of a post so you're going to add them through the odd all um add new which is the add new post you have the all post where you can view all your post categories where you classify them into different set then tags is what apps um, you show up on different um different titles on search engine then you have your media media simply refers to your videos your images everything that are not test screening you put them right here so you can add new or you can visit your library and then you have your pages you have your all pages then you you can add a new page this way you put your about us page your contact us page your privacy policy your disclaimer your faq they are all here then you have your comment any movies that are actually connected on is going to show up right here because this is where all your comments are going to be then you have your appearance this is where you do your customization your team your editor and all that stuff you have then you have your plugins yes you have your plugins here you can install security plugin ssl plugin um and every other thing plugin gives you a give your website a different functionalities so you're going to i am um, find them in this area then you have your users here you can add more users multiple uh, users are all um you can add them in form of admin or you can add them as just a normal user then you have your tools you can import export tools site tools and stuff you have there then you have your setting you have your general setting your reading setting reading discussion media permalink and privacy policy so this is where you do most of the setup for this website so the first setup we want to do is to go to our permalink so click on it click on permalink click on it then you want to scroll downward and then click on post name and then scroll downward and then click on save changes the once that is done that is the first now the reason we did that was we want our website to be able to show up on s um or google search so um if you have the sample name it will likely show up more than you have a numeric or you have a mountain name you have a day and a name then you have a plane so this one show up more on search engine and then you can run on first page doing just this and posting content now we have to go to plugins click on add new plugin now we want to add uh, some basic plugin to help our website do some little little functionalities here and there so for the first plugin we want to add we want to add since our website is so not secure we want to add really simple ssl so this is the first one we want to add so that you can actually force ssl on our website so i want to install this i'm not going to activate it right now the next plugin we want to add is a kitchen plugin so i'm going to re remove this and i think it's always on the first page now for seo we want to make use of the use seo so that our website can rank for page building we want to make use of the installation fade package unable to install find end of central dr signature i think it has actually installed but it has not been activated you have your elemental website builder you can actually make use of this to um build your page i think something is actually wrong let me see stop login let's go back add new 
let me see if we can add that again so let me see so I'm gonna click on install now see Okay, it has actually installed. Okay, so that's it. In case you meet the same issue, you can actually reload it and then you are good to go. So the next part now we have to go to our appearance, click on team. Team actually gives us a variety of different templates to choose from. Now template actually gives our website um good functionalities or good design. So template actually change the look of our website. For example, let's click on add new and let me show you how this works. So let's type in movie movie and then look for any movie template that's actually suitable for our website so let's look for a movie template a movie um i still cannot find the movie template i just wanted to show you how this looks So let me type in another keyword. Let me type in something relating to it. F R L M. So I'm gonna type this in and see if they have something that actually close. So I don't think they have, but if they are actually gotten one, let me see again. F movies let's see how this one actually works so let's see this as you can see this is a movie template but it has less um when i say less functionality or it's still loading so let me see let me refresh it and see what's okay is it i think this one is actually cool though so if you install it your website is going to look like this and your movies will actually be displayed on this part as you can see it's actually a cool one so this is how your website will look if you actually install this so as i said it's actually your it gives your website good functionalities i hope you understand guys so that is that for that so guys now that we decided to use a free team remember that this is going to be a very hard process because so far i've been able to do my own research and i found out that they, it is very very um unlikely for you to find a um, demo reporter that actually has this video team uh, template sent up so well, the only one i was able to come up with it's this video cast so if we take a good preview of this video cast you see that it has a very good design and then it has um it has layout where you could actually do uh, put a uh, showcase your movies and the home page is actually okay so now i think that this is the one i'm going to install i'm going to click on install and it's going to install once it's installed i'm going to activate it i'm going to view our website so now that it is activated if you go to your website you refresh you're going to see that the front end is going to change a bit okay as you can see we now have this now I'm going to go back to the team. Now as you can see, it says this team recommend the following program, demo import kit. So what do you do? You actually begin installing plugins. Now, once you install the plugins, it's going to add some other good functionalities to your website. So click on apply now. Uh, so far as you can see, we have not make you made use of any paid stuff. Everything we have been doing is quite free. So. So click on install activate recommended plugin and then everything is okay. So now we have everything installed. So you can go with video cast pro plan if you want to. Um, I'm not an affiliate, so you could just go with it. But if you go to your site, your site now has a very good look as you can see. 
it has this kind of design so you can filter your movies by categories filter by tags filter by year filter by auto and then you can set up your copyright as you can see this is the first design of our website so now let's go back you could customize the menu right here as you can see we have our team you could customize your team right here you could set up the menu header background now demo import kit so now in demo import kit you have to look for a and um, importation that is quite okay for your design so as you can see we have the video cards pro this is a pro plugin but as i said the video everything is going to be free so going to click on this one click on import and it's going to import all the demo content into your website as you can see importing demo content please do not reload or close this window it will take a while to import the demo content so we're going to be patient and allied to import successfully and we can then continue our website So right here we have that our content has been installed successfully as you can see you can now exit to dashboard so let's go to dashboard and let's see if there's any changes on our website so here we do have some changes so these are some of the design they actually imported on the site as you can see totally cool though now we could start importing our movies right this is actually very okay guys i like this design guys so now as you can see category right now we now have different categories of movie so we now have movie recent but right here we're going to change it to different genres of movies and we're going to remove some of this tag and change them by the way so let's go to our admin dashboard now let's start from the categories area so go to category now we have um we have fashion so fashion is not a category of movie so i'm going to change this to let's say action no, I'm gonna take this back. Let's do quick edits. So action movie. Copy it. Instead of fashion, we have action movies. Quick edits. We have romance. update category the next we have um horror i think we have horror oh. we have horror movies they will update then quick edit um which other type of movie we have a lot i think um there's drama So which other type so I think these are the ones I can come up with right now so I'm gonna delete this now this one categorize I want to also add something to it so I think uh, we have action romance or drama and um, let me just add something which I don't know if it's a categories of movie just put Bollywood Bully, 
I'm not so much of a fan of movie, so I hope I don't get most of these things wrong. So I'm just teaching you guys how to set up this website now. Update successfully. Now, if we go back to our home page, we reload the website. You're gonna see now that our filter by category we now have Bollywood action movie, romance, or movies. And if you click on see more, we have drama. Now, filter by tags. Now, tags are to be added within the video. So when you're adding the videos, you can actually add tag to re add it. So filter by year and this is quite okay filter by author is quite okay this is if you have multiple authors on your website so now let me go back to i'm gonna post this so let me go back to the website back in now go to all the movies if you click on all posts you're gonna see all your movies so these are here they are guys here they are so by the way before we jump into any other further conclusion you remember we actually installed some plugins which we have not activated so now i want to explain what those plugin does for you so um you have this booster extension this helps you share your website url in most social media platform so shares website account on your website and various design so that is okay now we are using this demo kit importer that's what we use to import this um demo of this website i'm going to delete this now really simple ssl if you want your website to be secure you're just going to install it and this place will be showing secure then you have the use now use is what I what actually brought me here so guys if you want your website to be showing up on search like if you want your content to be showing up on search engines like if you type in um, um which movies have I watched which movies have I watched if you type in I'm gonna remove all this if you type in um um which movies have I watched uh, if you type in um which of the movies now let's say let's go for which movie is trending this year i don't know guys i'm actually not too of a much of a fan of movies but let's just call um i think there's a guy i normally carter yes john carter so if you type in john carter yeah, okay as you can see there are, okay, there are a lot of different movies i'm going to type in john carter too as you can see this website actually came this website actually came out they came out as website having this john carter 2 john carter 2 so if you type in john carter 2 full movie just like this see web website i actually have them uh, pop up and you can stand download it. now yours can also show up right here if you have it so yours can also show up right here if you use a an seo plugin so with that being said now you want to go to pages now if you want to make use of adsense and stuff like that you have to have okay your privacy policy has been automatically generated for you you have to have your about page your contact page privacy policy disclaimer and faq now with that being said let's go back to post now i want to edit one of these posts to show you how you can make posts on your website so click on edit so now let me see if you click one of these as you can see this this one this one don't seems to be like a movie but it gives you a very good layout that you can use in um creating your own movie so see so i'm gonna leave this unplayed so this is a movie as you can see it has a lot of reviews see, as you can see this is it so now i'm gonna go back so click on it welcome to um so these are the likes below these are the dislike now this was supposed to be one of these um it's uh, yes this is it guys this is it. so going to be one of the posts but i just had to open it up to show you guys how it is so let's look for one that actually has um okay this one one step closer okay now as you can see even without using any page builder like elemental you actually have the movies right here so let's go create one so let's go create one let me show you how it is so i'm gonna go to youtube so let's go to youtube first of all so then i'm gonna click on download and see if any of, okay this site i have the movie so i'm gonna click on it i hope you're following me guys the process might seem long but guys this is how you do a lot so then i'm going to go to youtube now the reason i'm going to youtube is to get um some snippets of this um uh, movie we are actually going to be putting like a uh, the trailer so 
Now, if this site actually gives me the write up of the movie, uh, because you remember uh, on creating a movie website, you actually do not generate this content yourself. Each of these content are actually generated from different website. Okay, as you can see, you actually make this of a YouTube video. So, supposing you are actually doing the same thing just like him, you are doing this movie. As you can see, he has a download link, but the download link is not in his site. You can see the URL downward showing up around this part. Okay, it's taking us an ad page. But most of them, or if you go to um, if you go to a website like um, um, the Net Ninja, which I'm going to show you next, you're going to see how this is. So as you can see, let's assume we are doing this John Carter 12. So let me copy this John Carter 12, 2012. I'm going to go to our website, click on Add New, paste the title. Now remember, as I said, these content are not actually generated by you. But if you want to generate the content by by, um, by yourself, you might you must have already watched these movies. But if you haven't, you can go make use of let's say ChatGPT to help you out in writing some the content of this movie. So I don't want to make use of that. I just want to copy this and show you how the process is. So now I'm going to copy everything right here. So this guy uses pop art to make money from his website. By the way, don't be, uh, don't think you can actually monetize this website because most of the movies content they are actually um, a free content. You can reuse them on your own website. So you're going to check if it links to anything related to his own website. If not, you are good to go. As you can see, this is actually the trailer of the movie. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share it. So I'm going to click copy the link now. Now I'm going to go back after the content just the same way it did is so I'm going to click on this part then look for YouTube as you can see you have YouTube here now I'm going to embed the link right here okay I don't have the link let me go back and see if I can get the link So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share this video, click on share, copy, as I'm done copying, I'm going to go back to my uh, channel, my, um, sorry, my website, paste it here, and click on embed. So that will give me the trailer for this movie. Now I'm going to go for any of this, um, so you can add a caption if you want to rank on this movie a lot, so you can add a caption, copy this, add this to this lower tab, paste it right here. Sorry, not here. Let me click on this movie again and then see where you can add a caption. You can paste it here. Now, the next part is I'm going to put a download link. So, I'm going to put a download link. So, I can say download movie H E R E download movie here. So, I'm going to I like this. Um, I prefer it bit center aligned. So, I'm going to put that as center aligned. So where is that? Where do I do that? Um, I think I've actually forgot how I do that. So I'm just going to use this one. Now once that is done, I'm going to boot, um, click on link. Now I'm going to get the download link from this movie from another site. The reason I'm saying that is because I don't want to actually fool my website with different movies link. So for example, let's say the uh, my server is not too big i'm using a shared hosting plan i wouldn't just want to um, put a lot of movies on my server because it's going to fool my server and my website will be slow and then i will have to start looking for a way to up upgrade my website so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to a website like um let's say zippy share so i'll go to a website like zippy share as you can see zippy share now don't find okay free file hosting so I'll come to a website like this I'm going to create an account as you can see they also have they also are the owner of mega so I can make use of mega I'm going to upload my movie here I'm going to upload my movie here so from here on I can um, go back to my website and put the download link on that part so you can actually use mega I think here lies the picture once a very big use blessed okay so the I think Zippy Share is being shut down right now, so you can make use of Mega, and then create an account with Mega, 
and you could upload your video right here and then put the download link right on your website so let's go to a website i normally use in if i'm bored and i want to download a movie the website i normally go to the net the net ninja so i'm come to act normally come to this website and check the gens of movie they actually have so if you see the site is just as similar as your own um little different so let's assume um if they let's see if they have that movie we are actually uploading so click on share john carter 2012 and see if they have it okay they don't have it and let's see if they have john carter they don't have john carter so if they do have you could actually get the movies from here so if you click on any of their movie actually let me go back so let's assume we are actually doing um let's assume we are doing this latest movie shazam now if we are doing this you could actually copy the movie description here and then get the download link you can see this is a trailer now this is a download link guys now if you click on this download link it's going to take you to the place where they themselves actually upload their movies i think this is not it that's an ad so it's going to take you to where they normally upload their own file and actually download it from there so they use sabi share to actually do it now what you can do is to copy the link from this part and post on your website so i'm going to drop that one i'm going to do a new one because i can't couldn't find um the i think the movie for this so let me just publish this let's go again and create a new one from scratch so you could get everything i've been saying it's better i do it rather than explain me how this is done for you guys so you can see it so now let's go back let me for copy the link right here still the same thing so let's go back now this is actually the website the first thing i could do is to get this image open image in a new tab then this is the image i could save image now what i'm going to do i'm going to save this banner image on my laptop which i'm going to use for uh, most of the setting but currently i can't save the image because it's actually a web file so other things i could do is to use a um, clipping tools and just screenshot the image so let's do that now you could actually get the image from other side though but i don't want to waste more time doing this so i'm just going to do this now Control save I'm gonna put this inside here call it shazam i'm gonna click on save now that this is saved i'm gonna go back to the website copy the um right up for this movie wow most of this movie website actually use um pop up and that's actually distracting so i'm gonna paste the right up here first then the title of the movie shazam the fury of the gods i'm gonna copy this one as you can see on this top part they have their image so i can actually do the same thing to make it look good so click on image now upload image i'm going to select the image this is where i put the image i'm going to click on this now i'm going to put it at center so this is this guys now go back to the same place i'm going to jump their ads copy these other parts go back to my website now i could actually make use of this and then this is it guys so you can actually do it the same way they did theirs by highlighting all this text and then you can make it a a format or a quote okay a quote is okay so i'm gonna make it a quote then the next part they have their youtube intro for the movie so i'm gonna click on share i'm gonna copy the link so i'm gonna post this i'm gonna pause this click on share copy now as i click on copy i'm going to go back to my movie go back to my website click on the plus sign put in youtube oh no i don't want it to be inside here so i'm going to remove it 
so come back then click on plus on YouTube and then I'm gonna paste the link click on embed now once that is done the last part I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy copy a button so click on this type in button so this is a button I'm gonna make use of button I'm gonna click on download download movie so once that is done I'm gonna go to sh the website as you can see this is the download link I'm gonna copy the download link back to my website paste link on the button paste it right here and make sure it's open on the new tab so I'm gonna click on it like this oh the, I actually copied the wrong link so I'm gonna go back okay this is the right link so I'm gonna copy it go back to my website edit the link now I'm gonna paste it here and do this right now so as you can see I'm embolding this stuff Bold it so here we have our movie now you can actu actually also do for the download subtitle you can actually do download subtitle also right here but uh this is quite okay the next part is to go to your post now you can give it a category is this an action movie the what kind of movie is it so you're going to do that so let's look for so let's scroll down word featured image so i'm going to select the feature image so we have just the image on this side so i'm going to click on it set feature image so here you go guys this is it so now this is where you see your likes your dislikes your browser extension and stuff like that so now i'm going to publish this publish now so we actually fail to add tag to this movie guys we actually fail to add tag to this movie but it's actually good though if you add your um your seo plugin it's going to be more functional so now let's go back to the website refresh let's see what we have so let me refresh this again okay as you can see we have our movie right here so we're going to give it time as you can see this is the youtube video so it's picking out just the youtube video from it and then giving it to us so if we click on the movie now you're going to see our movie right here so this is the youtube video it's taking the youtube video to the top putting the auto putting the video as you can see guys this is actually good this is actually cool download movie and you have this so i think this is actually good guys this is the ready now we are not done editing everything as you can see but this is actually okay guys people can download the movie from here and we are very good so if we go back one other thing we need to do we need to edit this part and remove the video cast and just make it of our own logo so go to appearance go to customize so this is where you set most of the major settings on the website so we haven't actually for um created some us some other things like the menu so we haven't done most of those things so i don't guys let's just get with that one so as you can see this logo right here video card this is it so i'm gonna remove it now if you have your own logo you can put in your own logo but since we don't have a logo we're just gonna leave that okay so i'm gonna remove the side tag and tagline oh sorry i was supposed to remove just the side tagline if we had actually had an icon but we don't have an icon so i'm gonna leave that So now we have actually get to gotten rid of that movie. So um, if you use a custom logo, it's gonna show up here just the logo, and then this other part is gonna be removed. But now let me see if we have any logo. Okay, let's use that of the video cast and let me explain what I mean. Now, assuming skip copying, assuming we are using this video cast logo, and then we turn off the side title and tagline, you're gonna see that we're gonna have just one straight logo here and then it will be just our logo the logo of our as you can see we have the logo of our website this is the this is the so you see this is our side here you have it guys so you could do more of what we just did and then you could 
further more do your website. You can see you have a category on that top part. You have your category. Okay, let's refresh this. As you can see this is our logo. This is it. This is it, guys. This is it. So if we go to our home page, what you see is going to be different. So people can come here and search your movie, play movie, share with social media, change even the color of the website, and do a lot on this page. So guys, that is it. That is how you do that for your website. So then you can also make use of this part to set up your other uh, menu and other stuff. Now this part you can actually remove this um, this theme title and stuff like that you have here. Go to your appearance. Go to customize. If you go to customize, scroll down. We'll look for your footer. Let me see. No, not this. Theme option. Footer setting. So on this footer part. template for the first time i'm just building this for my last one so if i have actually done this before so that it i haven't done this before i just did it right now so that is why so i have most of this on the other my hand so you could actually check in for it that it's supposed to be on one of the two parts of it so i should check for it and i did it on the other one so you go for it and just change that so now let me go to the last part and show you how you can click or edit your menu. So if you come to appearance, on that you're going to see menu. So you're going to click on menu. And the menu, you're going to see your family menu. So this is where you edit those menu or add some things to it. So if you want to add your about page, your privacy policy, and other pages you have, this is where you have it saved. So guys, I think I've been able to um, do this tutorial to my satisfaction. I've shown you guys everything that I actually promised at the beginning of this video. I've showed you guys how to get a free web boost, how to um, how to get a free web boost, how to get a free domain name, how to install what, how to set up a movie, where to upload your movie, how to download your movie. I think I've shown you guys everything I promised. So guys, I think I've actually been able to do all this. So if you have not liked this video, please like this video and if you don't subscribe to this channel, I'm going to see you on my channel, I'm going to see you on my channel, I'm going to see you on my channel, please subscribe to my channel and if you have given me value on this video, please like this video and I'll see you on my channel. If you have any questions, I'm going to ask you to put your comments here and I'm going to respond to it. Everything I did in this tutorial, everything I do, I actually, I didn't have to download anyone from anywhere, so I'm going to play store, I'm going to just go to the WordPress, follow the step and do what I do. So guys, I'm going to call this a wrap for this tutorial. I'm going to see you on that tutorial, guys. So now guys, hands to it. I'm going to see you on my next tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.